arrived and you ain't got no work to do here in the kingdom. Yes, sir. Don't think that people are just going to walk in the doors and coming in, I yield, I yield, what must I do to be saved? We got to go out and get them and let them know that there's a God inside of the house. And the God inside of the house that is the house that lives within inside of my house. And I'm not even trying to show you some love from the God inside of the house. Amen. But we got to show the world that we love them too. We can't come in here on this high that people are just going to run and bust down the door. Because there's a war that's really going on. And that war is a spiritual war. It's a war that we can't fight in the flesh. And I believe that's about what Nicodemus, Nicodemus was trying to do. He was trying to get to a place. But he didn't want to get into the work. He was trying to get into a place. Where only a few are going to make it in. He was trying to get into a place that he thought his money could buy. Come on, Tammy, bro, I'm not ready to go. He was trying to get into a place that only by God's Spirit that you're able to make it back to God's Spirit. We can't walk around with our heads in the sand. Looking for the word of change once we come up. We've got to go out and save a dying world. Because a dying world ain't doing nothing but dying. But if they don't know where to come and get their refuel from, they don't know that there's a man who is seated at the right hand of the Father. He walked around upon this earth. I believe it was John who said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. So even with the reference of Jesus in the Old Testament, I think he was trying to warn the Pharisees and the Sadducees that I'm coming but when I come, I'm not coming the way you expect me to come. I'm coming through the birth of a virgin Mary. I was here be born in a manger. They tried to put him in the den and there was no room. There were three wise men who were looking for him. But when they got to him, that's when uh, Herod was trying to take him out. They shipped him off to a land called Egypt, where only people of color live. So he ain't that Jesus that hangs up on some wall. He is a bronze colored man. With his hair, his sharp as wool. You telling me that this Jesus that we got hanging up on some wall. Even in some black churches, serving a God that they don't even know the color of. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. And I ain't talking about nothing. But don't be a day late and a dollar short trying to find a master that you ain't willing to change for. You've got to come out of your own flesh. You've got to have some more spirit. We learned this week about Barcelona. We got to speak in an unknown tongue. We got to be more ecumenical. We got to have God's spirit. If you want him in your life the way that he deserves to be, don't be a day late and a dollar short looking for something 
the purity of Jesus the Christ and the only way to get to the Father is through Him.